Hey everybody, it's 108 degrees out today. Hello everyone, I hope this finds you well. Uh, been a lot on the, the tubes lately about the fires going on, the floods, um, the fires. Uh, I love love y'all out there trying to wake people up and let people know things going on. Something about the wildfires uh, in the south that got me. Um, it's, it's not a big thing that you think it is. Now those going on in Arizona are not the same kind of fires that you get in Oklahoma that we've been getting in Oklahoma and Texas. Um, I'll try to explain that to you. Welcome to the Great Plains, the High Plains of Northwest Oklahoma. My home country. Stomping grounds, there's my brother. He's camera shy. Get to the top of this hill and show you the view. Now you know why I say I'm from the middle of nowhere. I oh, notice the X marks the spot. Sorry for the focus on the camera. There's we're coming up on a valley here. The haze in the air is caused by a rock quarry dust in the air uh, pretty dry here we did have some rain the other day but not much there's the quarry over there you see all the dust you just can't see the quarry for the dust it's a gypsum quarry beautiful canyon Notice, uh, not a sign of a fire anywhere. Uh, some of these hills we get on, you can see 30 miles in every direction, and there's no signs of a fire anywhere. Red earth in my blood here. It's my not far from our farm here. So most of the fires we have here are grass fires and it's part of Great Plains ecology to have uh, occasional grass fire. In the summer times we get grass fires here. The land is so vast so many miles and acres of land here. You know they say the world's overcrowded People live out here laugh when they hear that. Land's fertile, rich, even in a drought, look how green it is. It used to be a desert when I was a child. Man's influence on this land has turned it into a green oasis. Sadly, people that live in the big cities and these corporations decided to make a uh, place about five miles from here chemical dump land full of life fertile soil mineral resources and they turn it into a place to dump their shit use my French but that's progress Coming up on the Cimarron River soon. Here you go, everybody. Coming up on the mighty Cimarron River. Or should I say the mighty Cimarron Puddle? 
yesterday there wasn't any water in it at all uh, because we had a inch of rain a couple of days before I filmed this. It's all runoff. Be dry again today. I had to go down to the fishing pond after work. Took the dog down there. You see here in this part of the country, thanks to land management and water res uh, conservation measures that we have taken long before the government took, we've managed to keep this from coming to Dust Bowl again. We still have water. We still have life. Try to zoom in on the animals on the other side there. Sorry about the focus. Country snide's not burning all up. Those fires in Arizona are something different. Those are forest fires. And uh, where they're burning is more important than what's burning. Animals and vegetation here adapt to these things. The corn, someone come up, check out the cattails. Of course, uh, where there's people, there's trash. Sad that. But it's such a beautiful place. There's a trash can right there. Have a nice day, everybody. Peace, love, and understanding be with you all.